don't know if this will focus on it, but right there, I'm on 27325. This is a President HR 2600 10 meter radio. Now I can go. All the way down to twenty six. Actually, it was twenty six point zero 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 one, and uh, it'll go all the way up to twenty nine seven hundred. So it, right now it's at nine six five, but I can hit. It's got some issues with it, but I can hit the meter button and change where I'm at and go right there 29699 that's as high as it'll go so it'll do the entire 10 meter band and right now it'll do uh, it'll do 11 meters too so it'll do CB so I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna take the bottom cover off and uh, show you what I did all right so this is the the radio with the bottom cover off. This is the CPU board. It sits right in here and hooks to all of the plugs that come off of the face. Um, this is the CPU board. This is the uh, that's the CPU. It's a UC1250. That's out of an HR2510. The original. On the schematic is a UC1251 for a HR2600. So I figured if I that if I chain the chip out, change the chip out to the chip from a 2510 and this 2600, that it would allow it to be modded to do uh, more frequencies. But it didn't work that way because I put it in and it didn't show anything on the frequency counter. It uh, it has some differences. One is has this crystal here and this IC and these dip switches and this controls the tone that's the tone uh, control for a repeater function in the 2600 which the 2510 did not have so what I ended up having to do and and the other thing is these uh, these plugs here these are the plugs from the from the faceplate and they're not in the right places the pinouts pretty much shifted down one on all this where that F lock is on the upper plug here, that was a ground. So all this was shifted up. And the same, uh, some things are different here. That AM wasn't there. And the CW lower sideband and upper sideband were shifted up one. And that was a ground. So what I did was I uh, came in here and changed, I cut the traces in between this uh, resistor bank and the socket here. This is the socket, the main socket for the uh, for the screen, and I jumped all that out. And uh, then I came over here and I jumped out uh, this pin here, and I I did this, jump these together because I can't rebuild the traces, but I can jump it together and make it work. And uh, this is the uh, the frequency mod that would have been done to a twenty five ten, but I did it here. On this one after I got this to where it would actually transmit and receive on 10 meters then I did the mod and um, I've still got things to iron out some of the buttons are not in the right place uh, still have some things to figure out but this is how you can change a 2600 to uh, to run extra frequencies just using a chip from a 20 a 2510 uh, this was not a very expensive radio. We picked this radio up at a ham fest for about ten dollars. The chip was thirty thirty dollars off of eBay, so we've got forty bucks in the radio, and now it broadcasts and it receives and transmits everywhere between uh, twenty six megahertz and twenty nine megahertz. So it it does um, way more than it's supposed to, but uh, as far as frequency expansion, it's great. Uh, it can be the reason I like I wanted to do this to this board instead of changing the wires around on the plugs is I can take this board out swap a, a factory 2600 board CPU board straight in and the radio will be back to factory and uh, it'll just be a 10 meter a 10 meter rig but uh, anywhere anyway there's the uh, 
short video for the uh, <laughs> for the week. I did. A, this is the schematic for the CPU board for the 2510. And as you can see, I went through here and checked off where everything was around it and did it here. And I, I made a list of where all of the what all the pins ended up on on each plug. And uh, I went through and crossed them over and checked them off. And I just did it from one end to the other. And uh, it works.